So let's move on to shoulders. I'm getting a little tired. Let's try some shoulders here. Now, this one I start out in the seated position, and uh, now my arms are going to probably go off the screen a little bit here, but that's okay. I get the idea of what I'm doing. And then essentially, instead of going out, I go up and I lean forward a bit. So I lean forward so that I'm in line almost with the, with the rope as much as possible. And you can do single arm if you want. It's a hard one to do. You can do double arm. And you want to keep your arms wide. And you want to be bent forward. And this is like called a military press. It's a great shoulder exercise. So I'll do that to start out with. Now I don't usually do this one as the incline. This is going to be tough. Upside down. And this is basically a shoulder raise. And you just come out straight. It's a little bit heavy for me. You want to keep your arms pretty straight. It's a bit heavy, but I'll just keep going. And then when you get tired, you can actually turn it into like a, a little bit easier version by bringing your arms in to finish off the set. This is great for your shoulders. Keep your elbows out. That's a great shoulder exercise. I'm actually going to drop this a little bit. And see how easy that is? So from there, I'll go into a reverse shoulder raise. So a little bit of a bend forward, not much. And then literally try and bring your arm back and up. You can do both arms at the same time. Or you can do one arm at a time. But when you're doing one arm at a time, keep the arm that you're not using as immobile as possible. Because you don't want it to help or make it harder to do that one exercise. And this gets your shoulder really good. From there, I'll do a forward shoulder raise. So sitting down with my, basically my body in L position with my, with my torso pretty much straight up and down. You can do one arm at a time or both arms. That's a great exercise. And then, to finish it off, I will do an upright row. And again, I cross these over. So I cross these over, and I get to the front of the bench. You're not gonna be able to see me entirely here. That's okay. And I basically just pull my arms up. Keep your elbows to your sides. Sorry not seeing all this, but I just can't quite get the whole thing in today. I'm gonna do uh, some more of these Total Gym videos. I'll focus a little bit more on getting the whole exercises in. But I just wanna show you a real quick overview of how to use this thing and how, how many different exercises you can do on a Total Gym. All right, so that's shoulders. Now for arms, all right, I'm starting with the biceps again real quick because my uh, camera only records 10 minutes at a time. And I think I ate through that. So let's get this going real quick. And when you're doing the biceps, you can do them one arm at a time or two arms at a time. You can notice that my arms are right on the board, so it makes it really hard to cheat this, which is good. And I'll start out light and usually with an incline a little lower and work the incline up to the harder, higher positions. I'll do a few sets of that. 10 to 15 or however many I can, can do at the different levels. Then I'll sit up and I'll do another, I'll do them with my arms in and I'll do single arm curls. You can even do them double arm if you want. I like to do single arms. Really concentrate on each one. And that's pretty much it for biceps. For triceps, I'll just talk a little bit. What I do, I think you can see this, but I just pop 
this one in the middle, so that I have a middle post. And I grab mine because I've got a V shape here. So I don't know if you're going to have a total gym that has the exact same handles, but mine does, and so I take advantage of that, and I do an overhead extension with two arms. And I'll do this, I'll do about anywhere from 10 to 15, depends on what level I'm at. I'll do it until I really can't do any more. I try to just go until I fatigue almost with every set that I do. But I'm not going to do that today, because I'm going to show you all the other ones. that back. I'll lie down flat. And then I basically put my hands in here. I'm not even gripping it really. You don't have to. And bring your arms until they're about 45 degrees. Nice and straight. You can go out to your sides if you like. You can really play around with this one as well. It's basically an arm extension from a different position. When I get tired, I'll do like a dip. So I'll go from there, this is the same set. I'll adjust into a dip. And I'll do this until I can't do any more. And from there, I'm just gonna show you one side. I do this same exercise with both arms and basically with your arm in the back position, hold on to the, onto the total gym and I do a rear extension. It's hard, especially after doing all that. I usually do about 10 and I'll flip it around and I'll do another 5. I'm just really tired. <laughs> Anyways, that a quick example of some upper body exercises. One thing I didn't really show you is there's some great app things that I like to do. I sit down here and I just hold on like this and you can do these really amazing ab twists. These are great twisting exercises. You do them sideways and I also do them in the forward position all like this and get a really good twist. You can see this really works your side abs. Anyways, and that's what I do. Whew, that was great. Anyways, I probably don't need to work out today. Thanks a lot for joining me today for a quick overview of some total gym exercises. And uh, check out some more videos, upcoming videos, where I'm gonna focus on the total gym and go into some more detail to the different body, the body groups like the chest, the back, we'll, we'll work on touch those individually and we'll, work, we'll do some videos just on those. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.